going everyone and this video is about how to get your knee down on a scooter and why it's fun to try the practices so first i want to say knee down on any bike is actually 90 percent the same the only thing that really changes is the body position if i'm on a cruiser versus a sport bike versus a scooter that's really the only variable that i have to kind of figure out the timing vision head turns um, relaxation the speed all those things remain the same it's just a little tweaks to the body position. So let me show you that. So, one thing I realized while practicing this, there's not a gas tank obviously to hold on to, so I don't have the grip of that. So with my outside leg, I push forward on my outside leg, and that's the only stability I have. If I just keep my foot like this, there's, it's kind of loosey-goosey, right? So my outside foot, I push it forward, and that locks my, it pushes my butt back and it locks me in. So that's just the outside leg, that's all I'm doing. The inside leg, this is where it gets tricky. So I have this whole thing in the middle here where the gas tank is apparently, I really don't know. But a lot of scooters, they don't have that, it's just empty. And I've got my knee down on both. So for this one, I put my pinky toe up against the floorboard and my foot is kind of flat up against the bike itself. So I'm kind of like this. And I'm pretty much back. Same thing though, half butt cheek off. My head, like if you look at the center of the bike, like imagine your mirrors are field goal posts and your head is a football, it's almost like this. So my whole body is to the inside of the motorcycle. Not Nothing crazy, but just, but just about a half butt and then just to the inside. This is all I'm at. So this is what I was doing and this is pretty comfortable with my foot. Flat up against the bike this way, pinky toe kind of on the floorboard. This is actually the exact same thing I do on a cruiser. Now, if you don't have something to ply your foot up against, I've done this as well. I kind of put my foot like on the, not so far over where it's gonna scrape, but just a little bit on the edge to have some kind of stability, like plant my foot, and I gotta get my knee down like this. And that's the whole idea. You have to play with your body position to figure out what's right for you. And of course, it helps out dramatically to be flexible because I could really open up, I could damn near do the splits. So I could really open my knee up, push my body off. That's the only real difference, just the body position. Everything else is pretty good. When you start to lean over, the bike slows down, so give it 1% throttle. And I recommend, again, big, safe, huge, empty parking lot, no gravel, clean it off, full gear. 40 foot diameter circle is what I recommend when you're starting to learn to practice this. So I'm gonna jump on the bike. I'm gonna go to the left first and then I'll go to the right. And then I'll stop and uh, talk about a couple more things. Check it out. <laughs> real quick just so you get more angles so I'll, I'll make a little clip real quick of the GoPro attached to my back passenger handle right here because you can kind of see from the back view and I'll have my buddy Rhino the cameraman who just bought my tracer I want to have him go in the center is of the circle and then he can kind of see where my leg is at now what I just said about pushing on the foot on the outside to have that stability and then get your foot over here that's a good way to start but it's not the only way I'm about to show you a bunch of variations. You could do that and it may work for you, but if you have a scooter and you're trying to practice this, try different feet positions, try doing everything else. One of the main five elements of knee down is relaxation, right? So let me show you that. You can head to the center of the circle. That'd be a cool view.
All right, everyone, so um, there you go, knee down on a scooter. Um, hopefully it inspires you to go out there and practice. So I'll just reiterate once again, why do this? It's fun. That's 90% of the reason why I do absolutely anything. And it teaches you a lot of different things that are very important. You work on your really good throttle control, not so jerky. Your timing, your head turns, your vision, how relaxed you are. And then you get comfortable with this body position. So now when you go to the track where this is really relevant, that's one less thing you have to think about and worry about when you're going at speed. At a lower pace, it's easier to do this and learn it with less risk. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. See you guys later.